We are talking about millions of connected devices, machine-to-machine -machine communications. What do you think is the bottleneck uh, for machine-to-machine -machine communications? Is this uh, in the technology or is it uh, reside somewhere else? Yeah, it's a pretty good question actually and we posed that question uh, in the panel and uh, surprisingly the panel and the audience was really divided into two parts where one part believed it's really a technology problem today whereas the other part believed it's actually not a technology driver at all. So the technology camp which were manufacturers and operators, et cetera, believe that you know we still need to do a lot of design to really facilitate the uptake of the large amount of uh, machines in the field. Uh, they cited a lot of operational problems, uh, power problems, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas the guys in the uh, which were in the other camp, they were insisting that well, you know, technology has been around for a while. It is doing what's supposed to do. It can service a lot of M to M markets. But for some reason, the technology is not taken off as quickly as one would wish it would take off. And uh, so they were arguing that the sectors that just need their time, they've been using this type of technology only in parts where it really gives revenues, not necessarily where it actually makes the whole vertical more efficient. So we have been discussing essentially the pros and cons and trying to understand how can we really bootstrap the whole market, whether it requires external funding from governments, whether we should uh, focus really on an open data model, whether we should op uh, focus on, on free access of M2M data, or how the whole, whole vertical essentially should be, should be financed and actually to make, to make happen. What is your personal view on this and uh, what do you suggest uh, today's researchers, uh, what problems to focus on in the future? So th from, a, from a research point of view, there's a lot of, a lot of issues which can be done now. So I encourage um, all researchers, including my PhD students, to look at problems which are real. So from an academic point of view, you can, you can cover a lot of problems, but it is of course interesting to do, to find solutions which have an impact. So clearly the 3GPP community currently is trying to design an M2M system, so they call it the MTC, the machine type of communication system, facing a lot of problems, really a lot of technical problems there, uh, coming to the to the access scheme, the medium access control. Even people have been insisting we need a new air interface, so there's a lot of scope for design. There will be a lot of problems in the core uh, network because a lot of small packets with a big overhead will be flowing through the routers. A lot of stuff to be researched in this type of field.